ascent. We need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Soon we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. 
We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it! Oh fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Fuck! No! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, shit. The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me at the trough. around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol. 
although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? What a pain in the ass. Parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Great! The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. The Peg 4 birch tree vegetative power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Ah, oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all. Along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go.
Chelas. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub, known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer record is equipped with an alert level indicator. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terrish Kovas, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Terrish Kovas. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. Piece of shit!
Damn it. The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Volan. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, Use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Comrade Major, based on the enemy's alert level data, you are fucked. Shit, where do they keep coming from? A bumblebee robot is delivering them from a nearby factory.
Yes, there you are, Bali. Hey, little buddy. Shit! Will this device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Bren! Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Xena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right, I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. Listen, Ivan, toward the end of my shift, I started using light signals to talk to the guy in the lighthouse on the other side of the lake. See it over there? It's called the Neva Lighthouse. I figured he was lonely. I mean, I'm here at the station with a village full of nice people, plus Vavilov and all that. And they just brought him here from Sahalin, along with the lighthouse. How far away is that? 2,000 kilometers? I just imagine it. He used to live by the sea there sending signals to ships, and now he's here. I mean, that's kind of sad, right? Anyway, I was wondering, could you talk to him a little every now and then? Well, have a good shift. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. <laughs> 